Hello friends, in the previous session we dealt with some of the basics of an operating system and what does a scheduling algorithm uh, basically aims to do and in this session we are going to uh, uh, deal or we are going to introduce you with the various optimization criteria. So why are these optimization criteria required? Uh, in the previous session we uh, discussed about our preemptive and non-preemptive algorithms and in the non-preemptive and preemptive algorithms the difference was that if there is some benefit in taking the resources back from a certain process and allocating them to the other process for a particular time uh, instant or time quanta I would say then if there is some benefit then we would make a decision of doing so and how do we make a decision that is there is there some benefit or not that we define in these optimization criteria so let's study them first of all we have our CPU utilization so as we said that the two primary goals of any scheduling algorithm are maximum resource utilization and minimum process waiting time right so on the same lines are defined these optimization criteria so the first one is CPU utilization it needs to be maximized and how is it defined it is defined as the total time of CPU total busy time of CPU upon total time of CPU which includes the busy as well as the idle time and this is also sometimes seen in percentage so we multiply it with 100 right Next is my throughput. Now throughput also needs to be maximized as we have mentioned it over here. And how is it defined? It is defined as the ratio of the total number of processes completed per unit time. We would say the total number of processes completed to the total time. So uh, we can say the rate of completion of processes. It can also be defined in that terms. right? And the next thing is turnaround time. Now turnaround time needs to be minimized now what is a turnaround time now then the turnaround time is defined as the time interval from the time of submission of the process to the time of completion of the process so the total time of interval from uh, the time instant when the job was submitted and till the time instant the job has completed finally is known as the turn around time fine so now important point is i said the time interval between the time of submission and the time of completion so this is the time of submission now this is very important because a job may not arrive at zeroth time instant so at that particular case in that particular case this time of submission will be different from your from your starting time of all the jobs right so whenever the time uh, whenever a job arrives and you assign your job the cpu that is the time instant when we name it as the time of submission so whenever you assign a particular resource to your job that is the time of submission and when it finally completes its execution that is the time of completion we'll be seeing it in detail with various examples so let's just uh, move on to the next terms for now next term is waiting time so waiting time needs to be minimized and it is equal to the total time spent by the process inside the ready queue that means till the time it is not it has not been assigned to your cpu or let's say it's just waiting it is not executing its task it is waiting for your cpu that is the time interval named as waiting time fine now next is the response time response time also needs to be minimized we should uh, be able to get the response of the job at the earliest now how is it defined then it is defined as the interval from the time of submission to the time of the first response it gets We'll get to know about it when we see various numericals. So for now, this the definition is this. And so if I just conclude this, I would say that scheduling of a process 
to the resources is done in a manner to meet most of the above specified optimization criteria now since these optimization criteria we have around five optimization criteria that i've defined over here it may not be possible to meet all of them right to meet all of them at the best so there might also be a case when we are getting some trade off between them right so the trade off that we are getting or what are the basically parameters let's say for me some of the important uh, optimization criteria matter more right so in those terms whatever thing i decide that would define my scheduling algorithms choice so we will be discussing the scheduling algorithms in great detail in the next of the sessions so please keep following the channel and in case you like the video please like it and please follow me in the next videos that i'll be discussing stay tuned for more good work coming up thank you